Okay, look at this fun feta dip. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound you want to hear, right? <laughs> Today, we're gonna make a delicious dip and then we're gonna learn about crudite and how to really season it, plate it up, decorate it, do the whole thing so that the dip can have its real moment when it lands on the table. This is a spicy dip. It starts with charring jalapenos and just in the same way that you would char like a red pepper on the flame, potentially, we're gonna char our jalapenos that way. The larger your jalapenos are, the easier this will be because they will not fall through the cracks. If you are worried about them falling, the trick is you can take a wire rack and just make like a little baby grill. Throw that right on top of your burner and then you can lay your jalapenos right on top and they're just gonna char over high heat until they're blistered all over because ultimately we're gonna scrape away and discard the skins anyway. So we just wanna blacken them and soften them on the flame. Charbroiled, if you will. Okay, so the jalapenos are blackened all over. We're, again, not going to eat the skin. So if that looks burnt to you, correct. And then this is just like the classic pepper technique. You cover the bowl tightly, and then the heat from the jalapenos will steam, and they'll kind of like soften in there. In the meantime, we can start prepping our crudite, or we can make the topping. Mm, mm. Yeah, let's make the topping. The whipped feta is going to get topped with this little, like, I don't know, you could call it a relish, I suppose. And so that's just as simple as find the topping, a half a cup of pepperoncini, and another jalapeno or serrano, which is gonna give us like a fresh and briny pepper moment versus the like roasty charred jalapeno flavor that's in the feta dip itself. If you're scared of the spice, you always have the option to remove the seeds and the ribs on the inside, which hold a lot of the heat. So you could always scrape those out and set them aside and then decide later on if you wanna add them back in. I'm not scared of a little heat, personally. All right, so pickled and fresh peps are going into a little bowl. And I'm going to squeeze the juice of half a lemon over. We're just making like a lemony bright little relish that we're gonna drizzle over the feta dip. Very, very simple. Next, we're going to scrape off the blackened bits, which are inedible. You can also use like the back of a knife to kind of help you. They're nice and soft now and juicy. I'm just slicing these open and I'm gonna scrape away their ribs and seeds. You kind of have to use a food processor for this recipe. Normally I like to give you the option to do things by hand, but we're basically going to turn these into like a jalapeno puree and then whip them into feta and it would be pretty difficult to do that by hand. We have our charred, scraped, softened jalapenos. In the food processor I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of fresh oregano the juice of the second half of the lemon, two tablespoons of olive oil, and that's gonna help turn this into like a really nice rich puree. And then we go, pulse. And then we add the feta. And I reserved a little bit of its brine and I'm gonna add a little bit in there because it's gonna need some liquid to like loosen it up and get it going. Whoops. Okay, I forgot the garlic clove. That's silly, I'm just gonna grate it right in, but if you didn't forget it, you'll just put it in with the jalapenos. Yum. Do you see how easy that was? That was just like, we threw some stuff in a food processor and what came out the other side was this delicious, creamy jalapeno feta dip. Crudite, that's another thing that I think has, gets a kind of a bad rap and that's precisely because it doesn't get any love. So here's how we're going to love on our crudite. The first thing is you should buy your vegetables at the farmer's market wherever possible because they taste better. But without being too preachy about that, there is a lot that you can do just to like take them from boring raw vegetables to bright and seasoned and more craveable by properly seasoning them. So I'm gonna cut up all of my vegetables. Look at those, that's nature. Can you believe that? I mean, it gets me every time. This is a cucumber. Wow, this is not where you stop on a crudite platter. Most people, let's say, wouldn't eat salad that was undressed. And so what I'm gonna do 
is squeeze a lemon over all of them, which is gonna give them like brightness and acidity. And then we're doing flaky sea salt. And then we're gonna drizzle them with really good olive oil. We're using this olive oil as a finishing oil. And it's gonna be one of the prominent things that we taste on these vegetables. So you wanna make sure you're using a really high quality one. I'm using California Olive Ranch. Here's the other thing about this particular olive oil is that it is in an aluminum bottle that is very lightweight. And you know how sometimes olive oil is in glass bottles and they are breakable and they are heavy. But for example, if you were taking all of this to a picnic and then you wanted to do this finishing moment that I just showed you at the picnic, take the aluminum bottle because it fits in your purse and it doesn't weigh anything and it's not gonna break. Okay, so here we go. We're now finishing the dip with all of these little pickled peps and the fresh peps. We'll drizzle them over. And here's our big drizzle mom. Is there anything more fun than drizzling olive oil? No. This is a gorgeous crudite platter, if I do say so myself. The last bit here, seasoning the vegetables with pepper. That's gorgeous. Just a party. Yeah, this is a party you wanna be at, and this is a party you don't wanna be at. We're gonna take this to the party. You know what? I might need another drizzle, so I'm gonna bring this with me.